Good evening, everyone. This is Robert. RJL Network presents another exciting edition of Inside Pitch. The 1961 postseason is on the air. I wanted to play this game last night, but because the Dolphins are on the t on the TV and I happen to be a big-time Doctor Who fan, so I did want to catch that, I decided to move this game to tonight. It is Game 4 of the American League Championship Series as the Detroit Tigers take on the Baltimore Orioles. We are here at Memorial Stadium. The Orioles lead the series two games to one. The Milwaukee Braves have already punched their ticket to the World Series. Now they await the winner of this one here in the American League. Jim Gentile was the hero for the Orioles in Game 3, getting a big-time bomb in the bottom of the ninth to give the Orioles a 2-1 lead. The Tigers were the best team in the American League in, in my replay. Looks like they're going to have to prove it here tonight. As we get to tonight's game here at Memorial Stadium. So, game four. Orioles lead two games to one. Will the Orioles take a 3-1 lead and force elimination tomorrow night? Or will the Tigers win it tonight? Tying this series up at two. Guaranteeing a return trip to Tigers Stadium. Steeler fan and Doug Hunt are first to join us here at Memorial Stadium. And yes, and congratulations to Steeler fan as his Astros move on to the 2022 World Series where they are a heavy favorite. But in also last night, the Steeler fan does not have a win for his Steelers as my Miami Dolphins get a victory, although ugly as it was, but we do get the win either way. But no football. Let's talk baseball. Let's get to tonight's game. As Mike Eisenberg now joins us here at Memorial Stadium. Starting pitcher for the Baltimore Orioles, their number four starter, Chuck Estrada. He has no wins and no losses as his second start, so he has a no decision. So we are set and ready to go. Game four of this ALCS. The Braves are awaiting a winner. We have at least two more games to play, depending on what happens tonight. Let's see what happens. Let's get to the game. Leading off of the Tigers, second baseman Jake Wood. He is batting 240 for the postseason. He does have a home run. We are using orange, white, and black dice. Orioles are the home team. The fans here at Memorial Stadium hoping the Orioles to take a commanding lead. Tigers trying to tie it up. Estrada, 4-1. Against the righty, strikeout that 15 is going to get him. Struck him out. Memorial Stadium adds three to strikeouts. Wood is a 13, but that makes him a 16. And that 15 will get Wood. Struck him out. First strikeout for Estrada. Had a lot of them, 160 and 61. One man down. Next batter, center fielder, Bill Bruton. He is also hitting 240 for the postseason. Around his average, but he does have two homers. Estrada will make the pitch. Estrada, 3-2. Home run result. Bruton needs an eight against the righty. That's a two, and that is gone. Kaboom! High, deep, and gone. Home run for Bill Bruton. And the Tigers jump out in front quickly. Solo bomb by Bruton. And it is the Tigers jumping out to a quick 1-0 lead. That is the third home run for Bruton in the postseason. DBIP and Woodman 564 join us here at Memorial Stadium as he just watched Bruton send one into the seats. And I'm pretty sure Chuck Estrada, will, uh, Chuck Rawlings will be joining us pretty well. Chuck Estrada, Chuck Rawlings, what do I know? Right fielder Al Kaline, Mr. Tiger, is up next. He's batting 231. He is under his average for the postseason. So already one nothing in favor of the Cats. Estrada, 5-4, strikeout 11. That is high. Kaline, 2-3. That's a base hit right past the pitcher. And the Kaline will go to will go to first base. 
First hit of the game for K-Line. And now we'll see the left fielder, Rocky Colavito. He is batting 273 for the postseason. He has three home runs as well for the Tigers. Infield double play. And nothing on the 15. Estrada will make the pitch. Estrada, 4-1 against the righty. Strikeout. The 15 is high. Colavito, 4-4. Ground ball to third. 3-3-4. Three, three, Second base, pivot a dare, zero, one to four, double play. They got it, side retired. Colavito grounds out into the five, four, three around the horn. But the Tigers, one run on two hits, a solo bomb by Bill Bruton. We go to the bottom of the first. Starting pitcher for the Detroit Tigers, their number four starter, Paul Foytak. This is his first appearance in the postseason. He did not get to pitch against the Chicago White Sox in the division series because the Tigers swept him three games to none. So we get our first look at Foytak here in the playoffs. Leading off for the O's, third baseman, Brooks Robinson, human vacuum cleaner. He's batting 286 for the postseason. Robinson, he will go ahead and Foytak with the pitch. 2-1, that's a blank. Robinson, 4-3, fly ball to left. And Colavito will get there and make the play. One down. That will bring up the center fielder, Ross Snyder. He's batting 370 for the playoffs in the Orioles. Foytak with the pitch. 3-1, strikeout. The 16 is high. Snyder, 5-5, ground ball right back to the pitcher. And Foytak will take care of it. Two down. Next up will be the right fielder, Jackie Brandt. Brandt is batting 192 for the playoffs. He is 100 points under his average. Foytak with the pitch. 5-3. That's a pitcher result. That 19 is too high. Brandt. 5-6. It's a fly ball to center. And Bruton will get to it and make the play. And that is a 1-2-3 inning on the O's. 1-0 Tigers after one. Tigers trying to, trying to tie this series up. As we now go to the top of the second. First baseman Norm Cash leads off for the Cats. He's batting 333 for the playoffs. He has two home runs. Estrada with the pitch. 6 3. Super walk. That 15 will walk Cash and he will go to first. Lead off walk to Cash. And once again, once again, Steeler fan tries to call me here, but I think that's going to get grabbed by my mom on that one. Steeler fan, you got to stop calling me while I'm doing this. Cash on it first. And that will bring up the third baseman, Steve Boros. He's batting 318 for the playoffs. He does have a homer, so he's over his average. Infield a double play. Strat, 14, nothing happening. Estrada will make the pitch. Estrada, 1-3. Walk plus. That 18 will walk him as well. And now the Tigers are in business. Another walk given up by Estrada. That's his second. He had some control issues. He had 132 of them in 61. And now we'll see the catcher, Dick Brown. Brown batting 143 for the postseason. He is under his average. <laughs> Runners, if that's a good one there, Steeler fan. I like that. Cash on at second. Boros on at first. Strategy roll, and that's a 15 nothing happening. Estrada will make the pitch to Brown. Fans here at Memorial Stadium so far not liking what they see early. 5-3 against the righty. Strike out the 10. Got him. He will get Brown on a K. That'll be the second strikeout for Estrada. One down. Here comes the shortstop. Chico Fernandez, and he is batting 227 for the postseason. Runners still at first and second. Nothing on the strat. 
Estrada will go ahead and prepare to make the pitch. Estrada, 3-3, three, three, strikeout 15 is high. Fernandez, 3-6, and that's a fly to left. And Dick Williams is going to get there and make the catch. And that is out number two, and Cash will stay at second base. Two outs now, infield back. Here comes the pitcher, Paul Foytak. Batted 222 and 61 with a homer. So Estrada got to be a little careful with him. Estrada sets up with Foytak. Nothing on the strat. Cash stays where he is. Estrada, 3-3, three, three, strikeout 12, got him. And he will get out of this jam. Third strikeout for Estrada. Nothing across except a couple of walks. We go to the bottom of the second as Chuck Rawlings joins us here at Memorial Stadium. I'm surprised we're able to find a seat there, Chuck Rawlings. A lot of the uh, lots of O's fans in the stadium today, but of course it is Memorial Stadium. Bottom of the second. And here comes the first baseman, Jim Gentile. And he gets a big ovation from the Oriole fans. 280, hitting 280 for the postseason. He has four home runs, including the game winner in game three. Bottom of the second, one nothing Tigers. Sports Time Machine, Utah Mike, joins us here at Memorial Stadium. Good to see you there, Mike. Haven't seen you in a while. Foytac. 4-6, that is a blank. Gentile, 3-4, and Gentile continues where he leads off, left off, and that's going to be a double to right. Gentile trying to make a play for MVP, and right now he's looking pretty good. Gentile will hold at second base, able to weave through the maze of orange. Here comes the catcher, Gus Triandos. He's batting 214 for the postseason. Now, infield is still back. That is a two. Gentile will stay put. And I don't do hit and runs with runners on second. Foytak will make the pitch. Foytak, 6-2. That's going to be an out. And it's a fly ball to left. Colavito will get there. And he'll make the play. Gentile stays at second base. One down for the other hero coming up. The shortstop, Ron Hansen, batting 370 for the postseason. He has two home runs as well. Anything on strategy? The die says no. Foytak will go ahead and make the pitch. Foytak, 2-1. That is a blank. Hansen, 3-4. And that is a fly to right. It will be K-Line getting to that for out number two. Gentile, not very good, not very fast. He will not try to go to third. He will stay put two outs. And now the left fielder, Dick Williams. Williams batting 0-45. And that is 0-45 for the postseason. The only way why he's in there, because he took over for the injured Whitey Herzog, who was hurt in the start of the postseason, was out and is out for the playoffs. Strategy roll. That is a one. Gentile will stay put. Foytak will make the pitch. Foytak, 2-6. Error on a grounder. Williams, 4-3. Nope, that's a fly to center. Bruton will get to this one with no trouble. He puts it away. And a leadoff base hit does nothing for the O's. one nothing Tigers after two. As far as my predictions go for the World Series, I see Astros in five. But do not underestimate the Phillies. Do not underestimate the Phillies. But I do see Astros in five in this World Series. Bottom of the third, Jake Wood leads off. He's 0 for 1 for the Cats. Estrada sets up with the pitch. 4-4, four, four, strikeout. He got Wood again, struck him out. And that is strikeout number four for Estrada. He did have 160 K, so he was pretty, he could be a hard thrower. Here is Bruton. Bruton got a bomb his first time up, his third of the postseason. One out, top of the third inning. Estrada, 4-2, strikeout 11. Nope, that just missed. Bruton, 4-1, grounded a second. 
And it will be a dare grabbing that one. And that is the second out. Two outs now for Mr. Tiger. And he is one for one. Got a base hit his first time up. Estrada will go ahead and make the pitch. Estrada, 2-3, strikeout. 17 is high. K-line, 6-1, popped up to third. And Robinson's going to be in foul territory. But he's going to get it. And that retires aside. So after giving up the home run in the first inning, Estrada has not given up anything really much since then except a couple of walks. We go to the bottom of the third. Astros own the Yankees now. Yep. The Yankees cannot beat the Astros. They can't beat them no matter what. And getting, and I did not accept, I did not accept getting swept. I didn't think they were going to get swept. I really didn't think a sweep was possible. But the Yankees proved me wrong on that one. And that's, that would be true as Sports Time Machine said Astros trying to be made of honor for the third time. Here's Jerry Truth or Adair. He leads off. He's batting 240 for the postseason. He does have two home runs. Foytak with the pitch. 3 1, strikeout. 16 is high. Adair, 6 1. That's a fly to right. It will be Mr. Tiger making the catch. Here comes the pitcher, Chuck Estrada. Batted 114 as a hitter. In 61. Foytak will make the pitch. Foytak, 5-6 against the righty. Strikeout. He gets a he gets Estrada with no trouble. And that's the first strikeout for Foytak. He only had 89 of them in 61. And there are two down now. Here comes the vacuum cleaner. Foytak will go ahead and pitch. Foytak, 2-4. Home run result. Brooks Robinson needs a 4 against the righty. The 10 is too high. Robinson, 5-1. And he's just going to chop at the third. And Boros is going to take care of it. And that's a 1-2-3 inning for Foytak. Nice job. Still remains 1-0 in favor of the Cats after 3. And I don't think anybody had the Philadelphia Phillies playing the Houston Astros in the 2022 World Series. I don't think anybody had the fills, especially after they canned Joe Girardi. Well, Joe, Joe Girardi, wherever you are, I guess you were the problem. We go to the top of the fourth. Estrada gets back on the mound. Rocky Colavito leads off. He is 0 for 1. Estrada will make the pitch. Estrada, 5-1. That's an out. And it will be a grounder to short, taken care of by Hansen. And that's out number one. I remember the Tigers getting out quickly in the last game, but then the Orioles took it from them. Here comes Cash. Cash walked his first time up. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be rooting for the Astros. I have nothing against the Phillies. I really don't. And if the Phillies win it, Congratulations. Uh, there would be the what would they be the would the Philadelphia Phillies be the next would be the first time an interim manager took over and won a World Series since Jack McKeon did it with the 2003 Marlins. Has there any other been another time since that happened? Somebody check that for me. Because remember, Jack McKeon took a team with the took the Florida Marlins in 2003 from Torborg. And they were under 500 at the time. Is is this guy Thompson now going to be the second interim? Has there been another interim manager that's done that since then? Cash will go ahead and bat. Estrada, 4-1. Against the lefty, walk. And the 15 is good. And that will walk Cash. He'll go to first. So Cash walks for the second time. And that will bring up Boros. Boros walked his first time up. Infield double play. Cash with 11 stolen bases. That is a 12. He'll stay put. Estrada will pitch to Boros. Estrada. 4-6. Strikeout. Two. And he got him. Another strikeout for Estrada. That's his fifth. And there are two down. Two outs now for Brown. And Brown is 0 for 1. 
And yes, if the Astros do win the World Series and give Dusty Baker a World Series championship, yes, he's a shoe in for the Hall of Fame as a manager. He needs that World Series title to get in there. He's already borderline, and if they were to put him in now, I would probably understand it. A World Series title guarantees him a Hall of Fame. Guarantees him the Hall of Fame. Cash. Let's see. Strategy roll. Nothing on the five. Cash on it first. Estrada will go ahead and pitch. Estrada, one, two, strike out eight, and he got him. Struck out. Struck him outside, retired. Strikeout number six for Estrada. And nothing across except a walk. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Tigers got the home run, but the Orioles are preventing the Tigers from doing anything else. Yeah, Dusty Baker, 50-plus years in baseball. I know that's right. He has a title as a player. I think he needs a title as a manager to get in the hall. Foytak gets back on the mound as Steeler fan is bombing the Yankees, which is just fine by me. Here comes Russ Snyder. He leads off, and he's 0 for 1. Foytak pitching very well tonight. Foytak, 5-5, five, five, strikeout, 8, got him, swing and a miss, struck him out. And that's going to be strikeout number 2 for Foytak. As he gets him there. Here comes Brant. Brant is 0 for 1. Foytak. He'll set up with the pitch. Foytak. 2 1. That is a blank. Brant. 5 1. He hits one to center field. That is an 18. And that's going to be just a little too high. He got under it. Center fielder Bruton will get to it and make the play. And that's two outs. Brant can't believe he didn't hit that one harder, but he did get under it. And that is a second out. Here comes Gentile. Gentile one for one with a double. Wonder if Judge will be back with the Yankees. I, I uh, He's going to command a lot of money next year. But the thing about it, everyone here knows that Judge will not have the same year that next year as he did this year. We know that is a guarantee. Foytak, 5-2, wild pitch, ball one. Foytak again, 5-5, five, five, strikeout three, and he gets Gentile. Side retired, strikeout number three for Foytak. And I guess the reason why Foytak is pitching well, he didn't pitch, He didn't, this is his first start, in the postseason, one, two, three, go the O's. It remains one nothing in favor of the Cats. We go to the top of the fifth. Estrada pitching pretty well, too. His only mistake was the home run to Bruton. Chico Fernandez leads off. He's 0 for 1. Estrada sets up with the pitch. 5-1. That's an out. And it will be a grounder to third, handled by the vacuum cleaner. And that is the first out. One down, and here comes Foytak. Foytak is 0 for 1. Sean 11-13 joins us here at Memorial Stadium. I'm pretty sure the traffic was hard to get past. Estrada, 3-6 against the righty. Super strikeout, and that 14 will get Foytak. And Estrada throwing some serious heat. That is his seventh K of the game. Two outs, and now here's Wood. And Wood is 0 for 2. Estrada looking in on Wood. And the pitch, 6-3. That's a super walk, and that will walk Wood. So Estrada... Gets a couple of strikeouts, and then he goes ahead and walks Wood. And Wood will go to first. That is the fourth walk issued by Estrada. And that gives Bruton a chance. Bruton one for two with a bomb. Tigers lead one nothing. They're down in the series two to one. Tigers need to tie this up, or they'll be facing elimination tomorrow night. Strategy roll. That is a one. Wood gets the steal sign. 15 plus one is 16. Triandos minus two is 14. But with two outs, you don't want to run yourself out of the inning. 
Bruton is going to swing. Estrada, 5-6. Error on a grounder. Bruton, 3-6. And against the righty, that's going to... That's going to be an infield single to third. It's an infield single to third. It's not an error on a grounder, but it's picked up by Robinson. Robinson tries to get Bruton, throws to first. One to four, he's safe, and he is. Infield single to third base, but Robinson got a chance to throw him out, couldn't do it. Bruton gets there, and the Tigers are still alive in the inning. That will be an infield single. That's not an error. And now the batter will be Mr. Tiger. <laughs> Funny when you tank your regular season, get the best prospects, and you to win your only championship. You got the best team, just win. You can bomb chat. <laughs> and you can bomb. <laughs> Here's K-Line, one for two. Tigers got runners at first and second here. Two outs, top of the fifth, a chance for the Cats. That's a 20, Estrada. And, nope, he tries to get Wood, but Wood will get back. And now Estrada will bitch the K-line. Pitch from Estrada. 2-1. Possible error. K-line. 2-6. It's a fly ball to left field. And that ball is hit to Dick Williams. His error rating is a 7. That's a 4. It is an even number. He will not make an error. He will make the catch and retire the side. No runs and a hit and a walk for the Cats. K-Line hit it hard, and Williams almost bobbled it a little bit, but he makes the holds on to the ball, and we go to the bottom of the fifth. Foytak back on the mound. Gus Triandos leads off for the O's, and he's 0 for 1. Foytak will set up with the pitch. Foytak, 3-2. Against the righty, that is a blank. Triandos, 3-2. Popped up. And that's going to second. Wood's going to get to it for the first out. Here comes Hansen. Hansen is 0-1. for Foytak settles in. And now the pitch. 5-1. That's at the park. Memorial Stadium, 5-1. Grounded to short. Handled easily by Fernandez. Two down. Memorial Stadium, not known for being a home run hitter. Home run park that year. And it's kind of funny as the Orioles are always known for having home run hit, uh, hitters parks. But not in 1961. Memorial Stadium definitely was a pitcher's park. Here's Williams. He's 0 for 1. Two men down. Foytak sets up for the pitch. Foytak, 5-1. That's at the park. Memorial Stadium, 1-1. Grounded to second base. Wood's going to handle that. And he'll throw to first and retire the side. What a job by Paul Foytak. He is really getting it done tonight. 1-0 after 5. Another 1-2-3 inning for Foytak. Come on, everyone, play nice in the chat. Play nice in the chat now. We're grown people. Top of the sixth. And here comes Cole, Rocky Colavito. He'll lead off. Colavito 0 for 2. Estrada will go ahead and set up and make the pitch here. Estrada, 5-4. Strikeout 19 is high. Colavito, 2-6. It's a fly to left. And it will be Williams getting to that. And he has the play. One out. One down. Here comes Cash. Cash has walked twice. Estrada sets up with the pitch. Estrada, 2-2, two, two, walk, 19. Yeah, he walked him. Just barely, but he did. Cash is a 19 against righties. And he does walk Cash again. Cash has walked for the third time in his ball game. So Cash has been up three times, and his batting record for the day is 0, and 0, is 0 for 0. Here comes Boros. Boros is 0 for 1 with a walk. Infield double play. 
Cash with 11 stolen bases, not going anywhere on the 12. Estrada will set up with the pitch to Burrows. Estrada, 1-6, strikeout, 4, and he got him. He goes ahead and gets Burrows with another strikeout, and that is the 8th for Estrada. He is really throwing some heat tonight. Two outs now, infield back for Brown. Brown is 0 for 2. Cash on it first. And that's a 7. Cash will stay put. Estrada will set up and make the pitch. Estrada. 2-2. Two, two, walk. 10. Not this time. Brown will swing. Brown. 6-5. He hits one to right field. That is a 12. And that's going to be good enough for a double for Dick Brown against the righty. Brown goes ahead against a right-handed pitcher. That 12 is going to be a double. Cash a base runner three with two outs. And that was what? A 6-5. That's a double to right, so minus one. So a one or a two, Cash will score. And he does! Cash comes around from first, and he scores. Brown will hold at second base, and the Cats now have a 2 nothing lead. Stadium groans. <sighs> RBI double by Dick Brown, who finally comes through for the Tigers here. The next batter is Fernandez. Fernandez is 0 for 2 here. Another run in scoring position for the Cats. Anything on the strat? The 16 says no. Brown on at second. Estrada will pitch to Fernandez. Estrada with the pitch. 6-2. That's at the park. Memorial Stadium. 5-5. Five, five. And that is a blank. Another rare play. We're getting lots of rare plays this postseason. Rare plays men on. And they're dangerous because always know that could mean an injury. Rare play. 52. Center fielder dives after sinking liner. Resolve as an S8 range play. Center fielder is Snyder. His range is a three. That is a one. He will make the catch. And that will retire the side. Question now is, and now it says check for injury. So Russ Snyder, his injury rating is a four. That hurts because he's going to be an out for at least the game. And that is a six. Reroll on five for 15 days. Russ Snyder is going to be out 15 days. This is what? This is game four of the ALCS. The Baltimore Orioles just lost Russ Snyder for the postseason. Snyder is out. 15 day is going to knock him out of the postseason. He will not be able to come back. Even though it's days, but I go by, that means to me that's games. He is done. That is a serious ouch. Russ Snyder was batting 370 for the Orioles. And they say he's got a, they say he's got a fractured wrist. And he said he's done. Oh, that really hurts. So he will be out for the rest of the postseason. Now I got to go ahead and bring something in there. I'll do that in a second here. Meanwhile, that was the final out. So that was a fly out the center. He did make the catch, though. So no runs, a hit, and no one run. I'm sorry, one run, a hit, and a walk. One run, a hit, and a walk. Tigers have a 2 0 lead going into the bottom of the sixth. But for the second time in this postseason, the Orioles lost a player for the for the playoffs. So timeout, well, I do to see what I'm going to do here with them as I have to put him in the bag because he is out, and I'll have to call somebody up if I can. My rule is I can bring a player up immediately. There's no ending of seasons. So let's see, he was center field. Ugh. Um, let's see. What am I going to do here? I may have to move Jackie Brandt to center, and Earl Robinson is probably going to have to play right from now on. Ouch. So timeout, timeout on the field here. So let's see. So Snyder is gone. 
So moving, I'm going to move Jackie Brandt into center field, and he is not as good at center as he is in right. So 270 is Brandt. Actually, hold on a minute here. So Brandt's now going to be in center field, and he's now 270. Doesn't make as many errors, though. So 270, which means Robinson will take over in right field now. And Robinson's a 2-9. And his arm rating is the same, so I do not – his arm rating is the same, so I do not have to change the – I don't have to change the uh, the arm rating helper. So Robinson will now take over in right field for Snot in right field. Brant will move to center, and that does take away a little bit of range. That is a serious ouch as they just lost Russ Snyder – for the rest of the postseason, which also means batting order may change as well. But I do that in the uh, I will do that uh, after this game is done. All right. So uh, we go to the bottom of the sixth. Foytak back on the mound. And it will be Jerry Adair taking over, um, leading off for the O's here on the bottom of the sixth. As I just got word that Russ Snyder will be out for the rest of the postseason. Foytak will pitch to Adair. Foytak, 4-1, walk, 3. That is ball 4, and Adair will drop the first. So we'll lead off walk by Adair to Adair, and he'll go to first. Estrada, the next batter, and he, they are going to pinch it for Estrada. Estrada doing a heck of a job, but that's going to be it for Estrada. The Orioles are going to go to the bench as because they really need they need to get some runs here. Not a bad job by Estrada. He pitched very well. But that will be it for him as he's almost he's almost getting near his tired rating. So we'll see a pinch hitter. So let's see what's going to be. And it is going to be... It's going to be this guy. Coming in to pinch hit for the Orioles will be Marv Throneberry. 226 average, 11 homers, 35 RBIs. Throneberry was with, was with the Kansas City Athletics most of the season, wound up on the Orioles later. He did make the playoff roster. Runner on first, double play. Now let's get back to baseball. Strategy, 17, nothing happening. Foytak will pitch to Throneberry. Foytak, 1-5, strikeout, 13, he got him. He strikes out Throneberry. And that is strikeout number four for Foytak, and that's one out. One down, here comes the vacuum cleaner. Robinson is 0 for 2. Infield is still a double play. Checking the strategy. That's a 16, nothing happening. Foytak will go ahead and pitch. Foytak, 6-1. 6 possible error. Robinson, 2-6. That's a fly ball to left field. That's it to Colavito. His error rating is a 6. That is a two, but it's an even number. It won't be an error. He makes the catch. And that will be a fly out to left, two down. Member must be odd numbers on fly outs for an error. Here comes the new right fielder, Earl Robinson, will probably now be starting the rest of the way for the Orioles. 266 average, eight homers, 30 RBIs. That's a big loss to lose Snyder, who was batting 370 for the O's in entering this game. Strategy roll. That's a one. A dare. He does get the steal sign. 14 minus three is 11. Brown minus three is eight. A dare's not going anywhere. Robinson will swing. Foytak. Three, five. That is a blank. Robinson. Three, four. It's grounded to first. That'll get taken care of by Cash, and that'll end the inning. Nothing across except the walk. What a job by Paul Foytak. After six, it's two nothing cats. And another rapidly moving ball game here. We go to the top of the seventh. 
Tigers lead 2-0. And Paul Foytak leading off. No, he'll let him back for the Tigers. Orioles need a pitcher. And coming on to pitch for the Orioles will be... Coming on to pitch for the Orioles will be West Stock. Five wins, no losses, three saves, a 3-0-0 ERA. Stock making another appearance in the postseason. So here comes Foytek against Stock. Top of the seven, 2 nothing. Stock, 2-4, possible error. Foytek, 5-6. It's a ground ball to first. That ball is into Gentile. His error rating is an eight. That's a three right through the wickets and into the outfield. Foytak's going to be safe at first. That's an E3 on Gentile as he boots that one through the wickets, actually. First error on the Orioles. And Stock can't believe it as that was an easy grounder, but a bad play by Gentile. And now the top of the order for Wood. And if you're the Tigers right now, you got to take advantage of that. Wood is 0 for 2 with a walk. Foytak, not really a threat to steal and do anything, and he won't. West Stock will go ahead and make the pitch to Wood. Stock, 2-6, strikeout 5, and he got him. Another strikeout for Wood. He has the hat trick. And that is out number one. Bruton coming in next. And Bruton is is two for three, a home run and a single. Infield, still a double play. That is a one. Again, Foytak not doing anything. Stock will go ahead and pitch. Stock, 4-4 four, four against the lefty. That is a blank. Bruton, 6-5. Ground ball back to Stock. 1-0. One, one, but minus one makes him a zero. And and he do not get the pivot. You don't get the pivot. So shortstop gets the plus one, though. And shortstop is Hanson. He has a plus one. So the only way to turn a double play is on a one. And they got it. Bruton hits it to stock. Turns around. Fires to second. Throws to first. They got it. Double play. And I can't, Bruton can't believe they turned it. Cannot believe he turned it. And that is a 1-6-3 double play. And that ends that inning. One, No runs, no hits. There was an error. As a chance for the Tigers with an error, but they couldn't take advantage of it. And we are at the seventh inning stretch. Sing, take me out to the ball game. I'll be right back. Don't forget, everyone, we are now in the, this is the last series we have before the World Series where the Milwaukee Braves are awaiting the winner. And of course, as soon as this series ends, you all know what's coming up next. Yep, it's everybody's favorite show. It will be the sixth Inside Pitch Season Selection Show. And that'll be happening as soon as we're, the day after this series is concluded. So it could be Wednesday, it could be Thursday, it could be Friday. Friday would be the late would be the early would be the latest because if this goes seven games. So the inside pitch season selection show is coming up once again for all the seasons are eliminated to four, and you guys get to vote for the next season to be done by the network. That's coming up as soon as we complete the ALCS before we start the World Series. 
And of course, you guys vote during the World Series for which season you want to do. We go to the bottom of the seven. Tigers lead 2 nothing. Foytak pitching an absolute gem. Jackie Brandt leads off for B Moore, and he is 0 for he is 0 for 2. 2 nothing cats. Foytak. 5-6 against the righty. Strikeout. The 18 is high. Brandt 6-4. It's a fly to right. And K-Line will get to it and make the play. One out. Here comes Gentile. Gentile, who made the error in the seventh inning. But they didn't collect, do anything with it. He is one for two with a double. Foytak will make the pitch. Foytak, one five. Strikeout, 20. That is high. Gentile, five, six. That's a ground ball to, th that's a ground ball to third. Taken care of by Boros. And that's out number two. Boros makes the play two down. And here comes Triandos. Triandos is 0 for 2. Two men out. Foytak will make the pitch. Foytak, 5-5. Five, five. Strikeout 5. And he got him. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That is strikeout number 5 for Foytak. Well done by the Tigers, and they are six outs away from tying this series up. Two nothing, Cats, after seven. We go to the top of the eighth. West Stock will pitch. Mr. Tiger, Al Kaline, will lead off. He's one for three. Except for that 14-1 to game that the Tigers had against the Orioles in game one, the last three games have been low scoring. Stock with the pitch. 1-4, wild pitch, ball one. Stock, 4-6, that is a blank. K-line, 2-5, that's a fly ball to left, and Williams will get to it and make the grab. One out, and here comes Colavito. Colavito 0 for 3. Stock will pitch. 1 4. Wild pitch. Ball 1. Stock again. 1 2. Range play. Colavito 1 4. It's a fly ball to right field. That's it to Robinson. His range is a 2. And he'll make the catch. 2 down. Nice play. Nice play by Earl Robinson as Brandt had to move into center field from right. And there is now two down, and Robinson now has to play right field. Here is Cash, and Cash has walked all three times. He's 0 for 0, and he's been at bat, he's had three plate appearances. Stock, 5-2, walk, 12, and there's a fourth walk right there. Cash walks again. He has walked all four times. Four plate appearances, no at-bats. And he goes to first. That keeps hitting alive for Boros. Boros is 0 for 2 with 0 for 2 with a walk. He struck out twice. Cash on at first. Strategy rolls are still active. That is a four. Cash will stay where he is. Stock sets up with the pitch. Stock. 6-1. Strikeout. 15 is high. Boros. 6-3. Fly ball center field. And it will be Brandt getting to that one. And he will put it away and retire the side. Nothing across except the walk. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning with the Cats still holding that 2 nothing lead. Foytak can still pitch to five more batters before he tires. He has the bottom part of the order right now for the Orioles. Here's Ron Hansen, and he's 0 for 2. 2 nothing Tigers, but no lead is safe on inside pitch. Foytak, 3-1, strikeout, 20 is high. Hansen, 6-4, base hit, right past third, that's a single. And Hansen gets on base. And that is the first hit for the Orioles since the second inning. And now the batter is Williams. And the question is, do I want to pinch it for him? 
And let's see. The answer is yes. Dick Williams is going to come out. This is the eighth inning. Williams is coming out of the game. And coming on to pinch hit for the, for the Orioles will be Dave Philly. 250 average, a homer, 23 RBIs. He will take over in left field. So timeout for a substitution. And Philly is not that good of, with an arm. So he's a zero and a plus two. So I do have to make a change on the on the card. So timeout. And he's in left field now. So get that. So now left field. So he is zero plus three plus one. Plus three and plus one. See how easy it is to change using the uh, uh, the uh, runner advancement helper card. So Dave Philly will take over now for Williams as the Orioles trying to maybe get something going here. Foytak is good. Foytak is going to pitch to him, and Philly will bat, and he will take over and left. So Tigers in the field, nobody out. Infield double play. Foytak sets up for the pitch. Strategy rolls are still active. Hanson not going. Foytak will now pitch to Philly. Foytak, 2-1. That is a blank. He is not tired. Philly, 4-3. Popped up to second base. And Wood's going to get there and put it away. One down. Here comes Truth or Adair. And he's 0-1. Foytak sets up. Nothing on the strat. Adair will now go up against Foytak. Fans here at Memorial Stadium do not want the Tigers to tie this series up. Foytak will set up with the pitch. Foytak, 6-1. Possible error. Adair, 6-5. With the fly ball to center field, that ball is hit to Bruton. His error rating is a 3. That's an 11. He makes the catch. Two down. Bruton is there, and he puts it away. And now we'll see a pinch hitter for Stock. A Stock coming out of the game. And let's see what's going to be here. And coming on to pinch hit will be Marv Breeding. 209 average, a homer, 16 RBIs. Breeding will go up against Foytak. Hansen on it first. Now two outs and field back. Strategy. Nothing on the five. Hansen stays put. Foytak looking good, and he'll go ahead and pitch. Foytak, 5-3. That's a pitcher result, but that 13 is high. Green, breeding, 2-4. Fly ball to left. Colavito will get to it. He will make the catch and end the inning. No runs and a hit. Foytak pitching a two-hitter after eight. Still 2 nothing Tigers. We go to the top of the ninth inning. Leading off for the Cats will be Dick Brown. Orioles are going to go to the bullpen, and they're going to go with Wilhelm to try to keep it a 2 nothing lead, a 2 nothing deficit. Here comes Hoyt Wilhelm. He got the win the last time. Nine wins, seven losses, 18 saves. A 2-2-9 ERA. Wilhelm's job, keep it 2 nothing. Brown will lead it off. J-double-A joins us here at Memorial Stadium. Ra Chuck Rawlings, be prepared for a question. Wilhelm will pitch. Wilhelm, 2-2, two -two, error on a throw. Brown, 6-5, and that is going to get uh, uh, that's hit to right field. That's an eight, and that's going to be a single for Dick Brown against the righty. There won't be a throwing error. Brown will hold it first. So Brown gets himself his second hit of the game, trying to up his average a little bit. And here comes Fernandez. Fernandez is 0 for 3. Infield double play. Strategy rolls are off. Wilhelm will go ahead and pitch. Wilhelm, 5-2. Range play. Fernandez, 5-4. Line drive to third. Robinson's range is a 5. 
That is a six. It's over his head. And that's going to go into the outfield. And that's going to be a single. Oh, just over his head. Brown will not make third. And that's a base hit past third base. But Brown will have to stay at second. As his base runner, too, he has to hold. And now the Tigers are in business. And now the question for Chuck Rawlings, Paul Foytak is due to bat next. He has one batter. He has one batter he can face before he tires. I truly believe you bring in Vic Wirtz, let him hit, and then go ahead and have Terry Fox try to close it out. What do you think there, Chuck Rawlings? Vic Wirtz is the guy I want to bring in. This is the this is the this is the top of the ninth inning. He says, bring on Wirtz. Although I could go with Bubba Morton too. This is the ninth inning, right? Oh, this is the ninth inning. Anybody can come in to hit. In that case, I think I may use Bubba Morton instead. Oh, let me make a choice here. Chuck Rawlings, Vic Wirtz, or Bubba Morton. Who do you want? Vic Wirtz or Bubba Morton, who do you want? I'll let you make a choice there. Morton's a little higher, and he hits right. He's a little better. Bubba, okay. That's what we'll say. Because this is the ninth inning, which means anybody can bat. It doesn't have to be the most at bats, which I usually go. So Paul Foytak coming back from the game, and what a job he did. What a job for Foytak, and that is huge. And, of course, Don Mossy will pitch game five of this series for the Tigers. So, And with nobody out in the top of the ninth, coming on to pinch it will be Bubba Morton. 287 average, two homers, 19 RBIs. He will pinch it against Wilhelm. Nobody out, top of the ninth inning. 2 nothing. Tigers looking for insurance, and they know they need it. Strategy rolls are off. Wilhelm with the pitch. Two, three, against the righty, super strikeout, and he got Morton easily on an 11. That is a big strikeout by Wilhelm, one down, as he got him. Big strikeout there, now the batter is Wood, and Wood is 0 for 3 with a walk. Tony's Board Life joins us here at Memorial Stadium. I'm surprised it took you this long when your Tigers are in the ALCS for 1961 there, sir. No strategy roll. Wilhelm with the pitch. Wilhelm, 5-6, range play. Wood, 6-6. Six, six. And that's a ground ball to third. That ball is hit to the vacuum cleaner with the infielder double play depth. His range is a four. He got it. Now can he turn it? One, one, two. Second base pivot. Adair, zero, one to two. He turns the double play. No. Actually, I forgot to see where it was hit to. My bad. That is a one. It was towards the line. If double play or force, it would go five, three. So in that case, that was a three. So he tags the bag to get the force, and the runners move up, two down. Forgot to see where it was hit to, and it was hit towards the line. So Brown is out. Two outs. Runners move up, though. And now a chance for Bruton. Since they got the, since they got the force out at third, but he couldn't turn the double play to first. So two down now. Bruton is... Let me put that there. Ground to the third. And let's see. He's out. He goes in. He's there. Bruton is two for four, a home run and a single. As Tony's board life and Chuck Rawlings should be great friends because they're both Tigers fans. Two outs, top of the ninth. Tigers trying to turn a 2 0 lead into more. Orioles lead this series two games to one. Wilhelm will set in and he will make the pitch. 1 4 against the lefty. That is a blank. Bruton. 6-1. It's a ground ball back to the pitcher. Wilhelm takes care of it. Throws to first. Side retired. No runs. Two hits. The Tigers had two men on, but they could not bring in the runs. 2 nothing. 
going into the bottom of the ninth, but will we see some ninth inning magic? Ninth inning magic. Leading off for the Orioles will be Jackie Brandt. Oh, no, it's not bad. Nope, it's, it's Earl Robinson. Nope, I'm sorry. It's Brooks Robinson. He leads off. My bad. The vacuum cleaner leads off. He is 0 for 3. Tigers going to the bullpen, and they will go with Terry Fox. Five wins, two losses, 12 saves, a 1-4-2 ERA. Staley and Aguirre are getting ready in case necessary. So Foytak leaves a chance with the win. And now Fox will pitch to Robinson. Bottom of the ninth inning, Tigers that lead 2-0. Fans here at Memorial Stadium hoping for a hit. Fox with the pitch. 2-6, strikeout three, swing and a miss, struck him out. Robinson didn't strike out much, but he does there. One down. And from one Robinson to another, next batter is Earl Robinson, who came into right field as Russ Snyder got hurt and is out for the rest of the playoffs. Robinson is one is 0 for 1. Fox will pitch to Robinson. Fox, 1-2. That's a walk. The 18 is high. Robinson, 3-6. And it's hit the left field. That is an 18. It's too high. That's good. He got under it. Power check to left, but no power. Colavito will come in there and make the catch. Two outs. Two men down. And now the batter is Brant. Brant is 0 for 3. What a job by Tigers pitching today. Tigers one out away from guaranteeing a return trip. To Tiger Stadium for a game six. Fox will go ahead and prepare to pitch to Brant. Fans at Memorial Stadium hoping Brant can get on and bring up Gentile. Fox with the pitch. 6-1. Home run chance against the righty. A 1-12. to The 13 just missed. Brant. 1-4. And he shoots it up into the infield. It's a pop out to second. Coming over is Wood. He takes a couple of steps into the outfield, puts out his glove, block, and the ball falls into it. That's your game. This series is tied. Tigers beat the Orioles 2 0. Stadium groans. <sighs> One, two, three, go the Orioles as the Tigers take a, get a 2 0 win. What a job by Paul Foytak. And Terry Fox gets the job done. Gets the job done. And that guarantees at least two more games in this ALCS. Which now features a huge game five tomorrow night. Final line score coming up. For the Tigers, two runs on six hits and no losses. For the no losses, no, no errors. For the Orioles, no runs on two hits and one error. The winning pitcher is Paul Foytak. His first appearance in the postseason in this in the postseason. He gets the win, pitches beautifully, only gives up two hits. Chuck Estrada takes the loss. He'll go to 0-1. And Terry Fox actually gets his first save. And Fox is actually 1-1 one one on the season. So the Tigers tie this series up at 2. And the set's up for tomorrow night. And tomorrow night we will have Game 5 of this American League Championship Series between the Detroit Tigers and the Baltimore Orioles. 
Back to the starting top of the rotation. It will be Don Mossy going for the Tigers against Milk Pappas for the Orioles. Pappas got slammed in the first game, and Mossy was beautiful. But you never know what may happen in a rematch. Tomorrow night, a big one here, Game 5, to set up a big elimination back at Tiger Stadium for Game 6. So who will get it tomorrow night? Mossy, Pappas, Tigers, Orioles. Game 5, be there or be square. Tony's Board Life, Chuck Rawlings, Steeler fan, JAA, Doug Hunt, Sports Time Machine, Sean 1113, Woodman 564, and Mike Eisenberg and DBIP. Thank you all for joining me tonight. Please leave a like on your way out of the turnstiles. Subscribe if you've not done so. And make sure you hit the bell. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay smart, stay strong. And we'll see you guys tomorrow night. The Tigers beat the Orioles tonight. 2 nothing. Great pitching job by the Cats. This series is tied two games to two. We'll see you tomorrow night. Take care.